If you use Google Calendar for work or for school, there are three hacks you need to know to save yourself time and make your life that much easier. Hi, I'm Kylie. I'm a video producer as my day job, and I don't gatekeep the tips I've learned to be more productive. These tips came from some awesome professors and mentors I've had along the way. And the first one is especially useful if you communicate across time zones. Maybe you graduated and your friend group scattered to the corners of the country, or your company is global and you have meetings with one person from San Francisco, another in the UK, and you're living on mountain time. I don't have the mental capacity to do all that math, so here's how to get Google Calendar to do it for you. Hop into settings, then scroll until you find world clock. Enable it, add the time zones you want. In this case, I'll add East Coast, Pacific, and UK time. And there you go. Now you can see on the left of your calendar what time it is anywhere in the world. Anytime you click on a calendar slot, the sidebar will also show you what time you selected in those other time zones. It's a little thing, but it's made a huge difference for me. I especially like to use it to schedule emails so my coworkers don't get a request from me at the very end of their working hours. Being mindful of your colleagues' time zones will help you build a reputation for being thoughtful, and you don't have to tell them it's actually Google Calendar helping you out. I'm one minute early to just about every meeting, and it's not because I'm good at remembering things, and it's not because I'm constantly checking the time. If you depend on either of those things, it's time to outsource that mental space. Add the Google Calendar app to Slack, and it will both remind you when meetings are, and it'll share any Zoom or Google Meet links, so you can go straight from whatever you're working on to the meeting. Just go to the More button in your Slack sidebar, select Apps, and search for Google Calendar. From there, it's a quick install and you're good to go. I also like that it sends me my daily agenda every morning so I know what's coming up. It's not exactly like having a virtual assistant, but it's the next best thing. Speaking of meetings, one thing I learned in my internship days was to never send a meeting invite without a link attached and never waste your time creating a Zoom meeting and copying links when you can get Google Calendar to do it for you. When you go to create an event, you'll see that Google Meet is the default. You're not stuck with it though. There are integrations for Zoom, Teams, and WebEx, so you have options. Go to the gear on the right side of the screen and click Get Add-ons. Search for the program your school or job is forcing you to use and click Install. Next time you go to create a meeting, you'll have the option to create a meeting and add the link right there from the event. If you found these Google Calendar hacks useful, you might also find it useful to know that you can send data from a Google form directly into Notion. That tutorial is linked on the screen and it's in the description. Thanks for watching.